Who is the Lord that is mercy and with the mercy of abundant redemption? And he will deliver Israel from all his iniquity. Wishing to fulfill the written law, the Savior and friend of man is brought into the temple's course and into his aged arms, Simeon the elder. Taketh him and crieth, Now dost thou grant me to depart unto the blessedness that is found beyond. For on this day have I beheld thee wrapped about with our mortal flesh, who dost rule as the Lord of life and of sovereignty over death. Praise the Lord, all ye nations, praise him, all ye people. As a light of revelation for the nations hast thou appeared, O divine Son of Righteousness. For thou hast shined forth, O Lord, seated on a swift cloud, perfectly fulfilling the shadow of the ancient law, bringing to light the beginning of new grace. And when he had beheld thee, Simeon the elder cried out to thee, from corruption let me depart, for, O Lord, I have seen thee now. For his mercy is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Leaving not the Father's bosom in thy sovereign divinity, thou wast made flesh in thy good will, and thou wast held in the arms of the ever-Virgin, and placed in the hands of the God-receiver Simeon, Thou who dost hold all creation in thy hand, enjoy therefore, he cried, now let this thou thy servant depart in peace. For, O good one and friend of man, I have seen thee in truth today.